Hey everybody, welcome back to another Warno video, of course. But before we get into the actual gameplay, just a quick run over the patch that dropped yesterday. New sound, by the way. Um, nothing really crazy, no new divisions or maps just yet. But I think most notably the AA got buffed significantly, you know, the coup got like 300 more meters more range. So Guska actually has crazy helicopter range now again with his missiles, although I wouldn't really call it crazy, but a lot more specs like to Guska and pivots, of course. A lot more accurate, but also only 0.5 HE and no pen anymore, so that got reworked a bit. Also, AKM has proper range for the helicopters and significantly more of his aircraft. Stratton M has 12 missiles again and is far and forget. Um, Chepra, I think, uh, got his, you know, yeah. Helicopter range increased. Stinger and Igla got the helicopter range increased. No, sorry, plane range increased, I believe. Yeah, they're now the same on both ranges. So various stuff happening here. There's also some price reduction for transports, like these trucks and jeeps. I don't expect this to be final. Just as a PSA, I guess. Uh, IOPs also are a bit cheaper. M113 actually worth taking now, but I think the biggest issue with this is that this is also 5 points, and that is the transport of military police. They are already pretty darn good, so <laughs> that's gonna be vested. Unfortunately, there's also some unintended changes. Uh, TADB, TADB got its AP buff to like 19. I don't know what it was before, but it's pretty darn good. Uh, but the biggest issue is probably the fact that the H.A. Abrams... Where the heck is it? For some reason got... Accidentally, of course. Nerfed to 16 AP. That really is accidental, it's definitely not intended. But of course, you don't like to see that on a on a patch. Or or in a game at all. Yeah. Um, supposedly, helicopters now take full damage from H.E. missiles, so no more... Apache's tanking multiple man pads as easily. I haven't tested it myself yet though, so we'll have to wait and see how that really turns out. I think the MI-8 accidentally got one of its rocket pods removed. It's really... I don't know. I think they, they might have feel, felt rushed to get another patch out. I don't know. It's unfortunate. But that's how it is. In any case... I'll see you in just a second when we got the game. And we're playing against none other than Blitz War. We're playing third armored again. I decided to play that um, because I wanted to see if I can like make spamming just M1A1s work. It's not really like something crazy or why is this so huge? It's not like Whoa, look at him, he's spamming a 1A once. Oh, he's so good. That's not even what I mean, but it's just a different playstyle. Um, I mean, their release are kind of busted, admittedly, but at the same time, TADB is busted, and, you know, I, HA is, I wouldn't say worthless, but, like, not really that good. Um, Helicopters got nerfed, and, you know, the effect, or, like, not nerfed, but AA got buffed, which affects Apaches a lot, so, you know, we'll see. This also looks a lot cleaner now, thank God. Alright, so, let's see, uh, I don't, honestly, I've never played against him in Warno, against Blitz War, and I don't really know how he plays, I haven't really seen his videos, um, I think we're gonna try what he tried to do last time and go for this side, just do a better job this time, maybe, maybe I'm gonna start with the CV as well, immediately, it could be fun. Hold up, is it me or is this kind of... One second. What about... Is it 3D scaling turned on again? I think it's a gameplay. Shake cam. Let's, let's take that a bit, by the way. But I think 3D scaling is 3D resolution or something else. 3D unit scaling, no. Fly. Why did I turn it off? Oh, is, am I really loud again? Hold on a second. I don't think I am. No, I'm not. Why did I turn it off? Because it also makes explosion look much, explosions look much bigger than they are. 
which really messes with like how you perceive the strength of units or like the effect of bombing runs and such. All right, let's just do a good old quick hand in that area. Oh no, did they? Oh, they brought the... Okay. That's not kind of stupid. When you quick hand or like attack move and then cover a building, you see the smart order. Probably not a good decision. Let's put it in here. We can't really make much use of the dragons in there, but it's fine. Let's get another one. Over here. Quick hand, this bush. Quick hand over here. Let's get a mech rifle squad in there. And some engineer dragons. While I'm not a fan of like this stuff being so cheap, I am a fan of infantry overall being cheaper. That's nice. I have the two Abramses. Definitely gonna get some uh, pivots. Pivots, you know, stuff like that has been buffed. Let's get an OH, which should be able to double tap Heinz now. Stingers are way too cheap. Like, man, but that should be 25 points. That's what it costs in Wargame, and here you have almost 2.5 times the income, right? So that's, that's not a good idea, I think. I have no recon infantry at all. That's not a good idea. That is definitely not a good idea. That's a really bad idea, in fact. What we can do is... First, let's get a, at least one recon infantry, which is honestly pretty light, but better than nothing. Let's unload you in this bush. And then... Ugh. I don't even want to get rid of the stinger squad. Mm. I think what we can do is we can move you over here. Or let's just remove you for now. Get inside the military police squad. In there. 80 points left. Then we can get in my graphics again. That's how, that's how we're gonna do it. Alright. Ready. Some other adjustments or, you know, tests, I guess, if you want to call it that it did. I put in a wild weasel. I haven't really used a whole lot of seed, just simply because... Oh, you can see. Oh, that's not... Oof. Oof, you see that on the unit card? Oh, no. That's not nice. Yeah, anyway. I haven't really used any seed because AA was absolute dog shit. So, I think to keep A10s alive... That's necessary. I think AA has been to an extent overbuffed. I think the issue was not necessarily that AA inherently was horrible. I think one key issue is, especially against the Sea Eagle, ECM is just ridiculous right now because it works, it doesn't work multiplicative. Oh, did I give Abrams? You need to get orders here. Okay, um, it doesn't work multiplicative. So what this means is, if you have sixty percent or say seventy percent accuracy, just including all veterans and stuff, and this flies by, your veterans get re gets just uh, subtracted by fifty percent. So your veterans go. Uh, so <laughs> I can't talk. Your accuracy goes down from seventy to twenty percent when you shoot at fifty percent ECM plane, and from seventy to let's say fifty when you shoot at a twenty percent ECM plane. And I think that's not good. It's not necessary. I don't think it's quite intended. Maybe there was some communications, uh, a communication issue, and it got implemented wrongly. I don't know. I think it's gonna change, but that's one reason why the seagull is just essentially unkillable, so to speak. Um, that said, uh, there there's AA certainly had issues, especially against one armor planes, of course. So that's probably BRDM or some shit. Why do you not stop? There you go. There's M24B. That's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of fucking helos, man. Yes, 
Would you please shoot with your stingers? That'd be great. But I guess I guess you don't, huh? Uh, thank you. Where's my spag? Where the fuck is my spag? Did I not buy a pivots? Am I really this? Okay. Get those reds down. Just attack move with your stinger, please. We're suddenly hit. Yes, Captain. Let's get this. Uh let's get one of you get a flash squad. We're suddenly hit. Mm. I need that tail rotor checked. Honestly, I don't know. Oh, I just forgot to move it up. Of course, I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I'm sorry for being so incompetent. If you can get in there. Let's put some screw in there. Whoa, that whoops. I didn't mean to for you to drive in there. Okay, what's that? Cluster? It seemed like it was cluster. Oh my god, did I... I'm... What am I doing? What am I doing? Get you out of there. Get you in there. Get you in there. Can't even sell you anymore? Okay. Wait, oh you lost your MGs. But I also can't... Why can I not sell you? Okay. Oh yeah, I can't tell you because I don't have a spawn at the moment. <sighs> yeah, uh, very competent player by the way. Let's get that spawn. <laughs> Let's get a CV. Let's get... I didn't want to, I didn't mean to buy that. That's... Oh, that's right on top of my tanks. Oh no, it's not that bad. Good at MIA. What's your ECM by the way? 40. Let's see, how's the pivots doing? Hard to say because you can't click on units that are backing, so you can't check their HP. Move the Apache over to that end. Let's get a stinger here. Are you just straight up out of ammo? Yeah, you are. Pull you back in there, supply in there. Pivots here. We can sell. Let's get some recon over here. You're out of ammo, that's cool. Hmm. I wanna get a sea eagle next, simply because he just keeps bombing me, and I prefer if he didn't. Need an Apache here. Let's get you out of there first. Wait until the Apache is in range. And then try to move in. Let's be a bit risky, get a CV here. You're getting destroyed, let's get some recon going. But it's artillery, huh? I wanted to get a Seagull, so let's wait until. That's evacuating, okay. Come on. If the enemy is in range, so are we. Fly zone is hot. Any update? Eagle one, ready. Come on. Winchester. 
Wait, I, didn't I hit you twice? There we go, got it. Okay, that's a dead Spetsna squad, very nice. Engineer's Dragon, these guys got killed. I don't know what it was, if it was artillery, it's just... Honestly hard for me to say, because I honestly no idea. Move with us Rickon a bit, move with you a bit, move with you a bit. That seems to be artillery. Gotta be careful if we don't suddenly get bopped from the side. There's the CV. You in there. Get another tank, get one that is already on elite. Get some more engineers. Is that a bush? That's not a bush. Did you up? It was out of range, yeah, it's not close enough. Kill the cluster, one of them at least. You're fine, you're low. Uh, it's lagging? Yeah, it's lagging. Oh yeah, it's lagging. It do be lagging though, and it's shouldn't be me. Pretty sure. Yeah, I don't think it's me. Not really untypical against Blitzwar. Oh man! <laughs> oh man! I mean, it was going pretty, pretty good for us. It was just a very aggressive, like rush type of approach he did there. No tanks, but man, these A caps—they're really good. Like, look at them go. Look at them go. Use the AGS seventeen. Pivots kill the cluster plane. See, oh, the pivots, I guess, maybe might, might have finished them. Hmm. Um, see, kill the Mick 23. What did we lose? Spetsnaz crew, man, they're really good. The crazy thing about crew in this game, I'll, I'll go over it in just a second. Did, did my M103s get any actual kills on lead? No. I'm unsure how, how much damage they do. They seem to run out of ammo very quickly. Also, die to clusters, so I guess it's that. But um, one thing about the Spetsnaz crew, is okay i'll be there in a sec one thing about spets and screw is that unlike these like they have very good optics exceptional self good optics might have not been intentional exceptional stealth very good optics exceptional stealth they have exceptional optics and exceptional stealth and a really good combatants like 26 ap Good anti-infantry weapons with like crazy accuracy. They are incredibly good. They just mass jack of all trades and master of all, right? They're just crazy good. But in any case, that's this game. I'm not now gonna play against them again. And you know what? I'll see you in, in just a second when that game starts. Woohoo, we're back! Game 2 against Spitzwar. Game 1 went really, really well, of course. I mean, it literally happened like 10 seconds ago for you guys. And like... 2 minutes ago for me. <laughs> no, it's not really like... Um, oh, yesterday, that game was... Uh, I would definitely prefer this side, I think. Like, Golf Push, I think, works well. Much better than Delta Push from the other side. So I think we're gonna try that. Last time was like very aggressive with helicopters and stuff. Honestly, I'm just gonna mostly ignore this part, I think. Uh, I think against the game against Soldering Pixie that worked really well for us to just not really bother too much with this. We can defend as long as we don't lose this and this sound. This shouldn't really be too difficult or not too important to lose. So I'm just gonna not fully but mostly ignore it. Also, A calves, man, they're a dream. I do love me some A calves. Honestly, I might just even ignore the Regan Bradley. A calves are just so good, man. So so good. 
But we're gonna... I think I'm not gonna get a tank CV this time. I'm just gonna have to get two elite M1A1s. I mean, I'm, a, I'm playing a tank division, so I might as well focus on tanks, right? I think, I think that makes sense, right? Um, For this side, let's get some military police in case he rushes down there. Gonna unload down here already and then move them up. Just so they can stop a potential rush or some shit. Let's get a OH. Let's get a pivots. Let's move them up immediately. Give them immediately the orders to just move in there before I forget. Quick hand really seems to still be kind of bugged. We just move there. Get a mag rifle squad. Unload in there. Let's get a chaparral because it has a lot more range against healers and stingers, so I can. Keep it a bit further behind. Get you into like this bush here, so don't immediately get. In case he gets tanks, don't get wrecked like from that side by tanks. Um, get an engineer squad. Load in there, then move back. If still for the 495 points. Again, we're not really. We don't really care too much about this part of the map here. That doesn't mean we're gonna ignore it though. Let's get a defensive stinger here. We'll get like a. Hmm. I think for for the early stuff, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get a Bradley here. I'm gonna put it like in there. And a engineer's flash squad. In here as well. Still 300 points. Of course, we're gonna need some infantry with our push here. I think engineers of Ragnar are just really good, really good. They're 10 men and they have an M113, so they're like relatively affordable and relatively tanky infantry. 125 points. Get another mic rifles. But you can unload in there. And then for 45 points. Get this scout here. And unload you in there. Okay. I think that's a good start. Well a good opener. Just checking if everything got orders. Yes, sir. Move a bit further up. Everything seems fine. Fine and dandy. Soon as he is ready. Yeah, Wild Beast, of course, did absolutely nothing. We only had stress, I think. But if the game goes on longer, maybe we can make it work this time. Let's see. I, sp I saved 100 points on the M1A1 CV this time. Yeah, whatever. That's essentially the Recon Bradley, I guess. Maybe I should have started with more ACAVs. Well. Oh shit! I don't have. Rec I don't have. Yep, yeah, that explains it. Well, no Regan Bradley. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Oh man, the good old bamboozle. I didn't, I didn't the uh, last game, but this time I did. I was like, I, I seem to have a lot of points. Oh my god, every goddamn... Police, you can just make it like Wargamer, where you just auto-deploy with the cheapest CV in your deck, so you don't forget about it. Oh, man. I'm listening, Captain. But hey, at least I didn't forget to move any units. But it means I, can't, I could immediately get a Sea Eagle if... 
I think I might want to. He seemed to be really quick on the, you know, plain buy trigger finger, if you want to call it that. So he might gonna get a, might get a 24M cluster very, very early. Oh, he's playing red armor, uh, red third armor too. I didn't even notice. I mean, it's not really a big deal. Please get in there. Oh no, I, I can't do math. I'm still 100 points off. Ow. Only I am allowed to abuse ACAVs. What the hell? Please get in there. Okay. Okay, I wrecked those military police at least. Let's get a CV. Let's get... Put you in there. Sell you. Get this M103 back. Let's get a stinger in our base. Okay, what are those planes? Why does it immediately get two planes? Are those two F-111s or two Sea Eagles? Let's get a Sea Eagle. That is cluster. I lost my pivots. I seem to not have killed the second one, but that's fine. Can you can you kill this already? All units, my god. Let's get a pivot. Happening on this side. Nothing much. Supply truck. I mean, I was right, he was very quick on the plane trigger finger. Get a rocket Apache. Hello? Are you really missing with all of your dragons? I guess there's a minimum range issue. Let's get some of you. Let's unload you in the base. Definitely get like a secure this part of the map here. Keep you in the back here. Actually, up front we don't have any AA with our tanks at the moment. Stop routing, please. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not sure if this is funny or sad. All units, please. Yes, shoot this before it's unload. Before it unloads, please. Why are you shooting? You are you shooting with your HE rounds? They are. Oh my god. Well, that's not. That's not ideal. Let's get you both in there. See if we can get that part of the. It also get another Abrams. Let's get the military police squad here. Some engineers. This seems to be fixed now, though, I think. 
No, no, it doesn't seem to be. What I'm talking about is if you give a tank a right click order to attack something, they will re-aim even though they already had like almost finished. Wow, that, that's um, that's empty pretty quickly. You can sell or get sold rather. Move over the pivots, it's a helicopter of course. We do have an OH, where's our OH? There it is. Ah oh, shit, I'll be right back. Oh no, I lost the dragon squad. Okay. Let's keep you back there. Mutt back here. Honestly, I never trust someone's got like a military police squad in here just in case. Um, let's get a Command Abrams up here, that we can then also use for like, to push, and, oh no, and potentially deal with him, like, you know, when he decides to push there. Get some military police. Let's get the Bradley, I guess. You're starting to run out of fuel, huh? Oh, I have another M1A1 here. Actually, pretty good. Land you. Put you in there. Stuff that here, whatever. Let's get like a Q over here. It's a bit expensive, but it can deal with shit. Circle you. Actually, don't circle you. You can't really detect helicopters in, I think, Warno. I shouldn't have circled you. I should have kept you out, I mean. Oh, well. This is not gonna do much. Yeah, you're turned off. Put you in here. Let's see. Let's test this. Yeah, you can see they won't finish aiming, right? Oh my god. This is annoying, please fix this. Because sometimes it's really good to make sure that you're shooting at the, or aiming at the right thing, right? Because you want to make sure you shoot at the tank among all the hordes of infantry. But if you already were shooting, aiming at the tank, then it will just still re-aim and that's just not what you want. I want to get an M270. You know what? Move you in there. And get you in here, screw that. The engine is there though. Rocket Apache. Of course, I don't really need those to be elite anymore now. Oh, you shouldn't have aimed. You shouldn't have shot. Get the Apache out. See, how do you do against a rocket Apache? Can't 
Pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. You engineers dragon get in there. I think she's having run out of, out of supply, huh? They really fixed it. Like changed how much they use. Uh artillery, let's get an M270. Fire Cup runs in there. Let's get an A10 just to bully. Yes, sir. Wants, I mean, I guess why would you use HAs, right? So I shouldn't be surprised. Look, it's, it just re aims. Ah, oh, that's such a frustrating thing. Oh shit. Oh, that, well, that wasn't intended. Oopsie. That's what you get when you gotta go AFK. But, I mean, I didn't lose any tanks. Both my Seagulls are still fine, too. And you... And I don't even know if you did anything. Moving up. Alright, let's see if Rocket put a patchy. Recons, get this recon in there. Get your bit back, you, you might actually be spotted in there. Under supply squad. Oh! Engineers. Yeah, all the cannons at close range seem to be really doing really good. Bradley, maybe not, not as much because there's low rate of fire in the. What? If you shoot it. Is this thing getting a fire position order when you right click at infantry? You see, you saw that, right? That's a fire position. Well, this works fine, but if you if I click on this, the heck, it kept shooting right at the same pos. I need to test this. That was weird. That was really weird. Also, I'm plus seven. Yikes. Wait, did I kill them? Maybe I killed them. Nope, I didn't. Now I killed them. I definitely want to get those up. Full HP again. Oh, that's some... Shit. Where's my rocket Badabachi? Where's my artillery? Ready to fire. Ah, oh, oh that, that's a pivot. Okay, time to use seed. And have a seagull in the back. What's your traveling time? 8 seconds. It's you out. Let's get another rocket pod Apache. Did he actually turn it off? If so, nice. Oh, you sh I don't think you should have evac, but then again, these planes are invincible, huh? And when everyone is under attack, I killed the seagull. Ooh, that's not good. I lost one. Because I was too busy looking at pog planes.
Did I get another rocket? Uh, dead. I lost it again, probably to Rocket Brother there, yeah. Didn't pay attention again. Let's get... Get a Thunderbolt? Maybe? I'm still taking quite a much, quite a lot though, so that's good. Uh, I only need to save 20 points, so let's spend some stuff. Get some flash squads. Hmm. I have a recon. Let's get so, let's get our own Bradleys, huh? Actually, I do need recon. Oh well. Stay in the bush, please. You just stay in the bush. Hey, that's not cool. Yeah, you you coward. Law team is dead. Yes, Captain. Uh, I think next we're just gonna spam some basic military police for the town. Ooh, come on. We can keep line of sight on that, that'd be great. It really just is doing a fire position, huh? Oh, seat. Hog. Ah, rip. A10 not nearly as reliable as it is in war game. But the uh, rocket for the battery is still very, very good. That's a helo. Oh, the scout has... Yeah, I never used it. I, didn't, I forgot it has a minigun. A few a bit. Unload. Just unload in there. Actually, attack move. Get in there. Bradley's attack move. M1A1's attack move. What's happening over here? Okay, let's get a patch. Oh, E1. GG. GG. M1A1 killed M1A1. When everyone killed them, when everyone Singer C killed Cluster Engineer's Dragon Engineer's Dragon in the M113 is how I how I roughly want infantry in general to be. Right, the engineers they're not particularly good against infantry, but they're ten men, they're affordable, they have a decent transport. I think like whatever hundred points for something in like a basic transport is just not what I like. Or like currently BMP twos plus motorcycle are like eighty points. Although of course they shouldn't have 20, 30 AP on their AT launcher. That's also like more on the line. What I personally would prefer to see. Did they? Oh, that's the that's the war game font, right? That's Bombardier. <laughs> they actually <laughs> when they said they were gonna change it, I was I was making a comment somewhere it's like a oh Bombardier font and then like the praying hands emoji. It was more in jest, but you know, it is this is a decent font for a game like this. 
Even if the five and the S's sometimes. No, that's a different font. Is it? No, it is Bombardier. I'm pretty sure it is Bombardier. Mm. Anyway. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. I don't think it is actually. Because the S and the five are definitely a lot more distinguishable than they are in Wargame. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't the Bombardier font. Maybe it's just a normal font I already have. And just all capitalized, which is why I think it is Bombardier. Whatever the case. I mean, against planes, I think AA is maybe a bit strong, but tough to say from US because US only really gets short range AA. They don't get Hawks, they don't get Rolands or something like that, which you would normally see on Blue 4. Whereas the Soviet division has Osas and Cups. That that Bradley interaction was just really, really weird though. But the Rocket Pot Apaches, yeah. Of course, when there's no AA around, they can really... I mean, it was also Mats, right? So that dies quickly. And the Yay Cav, my god, it's such a good unit. At least it seems to be thus far. This Seagull could work my Thunderbolts. In any case, that's that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will hopefully... Actually, hold on. Someone was asking me about my deck, so I'm gonna show you my deck. And recently... That's the deck I use. I don't think there is a... There is no way to, like, see the whole thing, right? Anyway, currently a sub card of Supply Trucks, two M577s, two cards of Engineers and the M113, Engineers Dragon and the M113. Um, I could also use, like, basic Engineers. There are also four, ten men, but I'm, I'm not sure about how good these Satchel Charges are. Mostly for town fights. Maybe it's worth putting in them, but personally I just prefer the Flash. Engineers right now. Obviously, if it wasn't for the HA having 19, 16 AP, I would use that more. And yeah, I get, you can just obviously pause when you're, you're curious at a thing. And I don't think there's really a big point in having a spreadsheet with the deck codes available, simply because there's only two decks in the game. And I've, I have only two decks right now. <laughs> and you know, things change very quickly. Um, yeah. In any case, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye-bye.